Welcome in everyone to another episode here in Edgewater, Saskatchewan. On today's episode, we're going to get started off by adding a sheep pin. Let's get started. Now that we are all established here on the new piece of land we have, we're going to add some sheep into the mix. We already have cattle. I think sheep would be another good one to start with. We're going to do a uh, fenceless pin right now, then add a fence to it. Let's see, right about there. there we go. There. Once we get some, some sheep in here, we'll know where to put the boundary line for the new fence. Let's get some sheep. Let's see. Start. Maybe 10 would be a good start for it. There we go. Looks like they're pretty much going to stay within the green boundary. Get a fence built around it, then we'll go mow some grass for them. Here we go. I think this fence will work for them. Our little gate over here. In and out. Which we shouldn't need to really go in there too much. But we do need to get them some grass. So let's find a tractor. There we go. Grab this thing and go mow. Actually, I don't think I even have a mower anymore. We've been using the the new swather. So maybe we'll just run over and grab the swather out of the building. I believe we keep it over at the, the main house. Looks like all of our grass is ready to be mowed. Anyhow, should have the oats field ready soon. Park this right here out of the way. Grab the swather. Of course, we can't use this baler because it'll wrap it. We don't want to wrap the bale. There we go. Bring it unhook for me. I haven't even got the swather head pulled off the road yet. know if we should bale this or just loose grass it. Just keep some loose grass in a bin somewhere. So anytime the sheep need fed, we'll have it right there for us. Go a little bit more. There we go. Right. There we go. Get some of this mowed up and then we will go grab a pickup wagon. Well, we got it all mowed up. We did not have enough money to buy a pickup wagon, so we just leased this one. It's actually the TARDIS. I think it holds 50,000 liters. It's a lot cheaper than any of the base game ones. So we thought we'd just grab this, get all picked up, and then we'll just put it in our silo for what the uh, sheep don't eat. So then we don't have to worry about bailing it and hauling bales back and forth. When the sheep run out, we'll just run the wagon over. Actually, we'll probably just run a truck over so we don't have to keep this lease. And just grab some out of the bin. That's my plan. Let me get back to the farm. I'm not just sure how many liters this field is going to give us. This is going to be our first time that we haven't bailed it. Not sure how good of a pickup this is. If it has a wide pickup or not. Looks like it's getting everything. We're over 5,000 liters already. I think there's going to be quite a little bit in this field. We'll get it all picked up and take some to the sheep. 
looks like it's going to fill up pretty quick. I've only made one round. I don't have too much room left on this trailer. So I guess I probably should have bailed some of this into silage because I think 50,000 liters of grass is going to last quite a little while. We'll see how much the sheep take. I do like having a lot more farm ground up here put stuff instead of our little bitty area we had at the other house where this wagon will fit ooh tractor doesn't fit if the tractor don't fit I'm sure the wagon won't looks like I should have went with bales around see if I can back up to the building if this doesn't work I'll have to turn on the info trigger and see where it goes there it is fortunately it's gonna push out every time oh looks like it's full already anyhow it's a little over 5,000 liters. We'll fill this back up that little bit, and then we will run down and put it in the bin. Now they do make a bigger TARDIS wagon that actually can hold 200,000 liters. I didn't think we were going to have as much as we end up having here. Or I would have got a bigger one. Because I don't think the price was much different. It might have been $5,000 more. If even that. I think we'll probably just use our, our our truck, the GMC or Chevy truck we bought last episode. Probably use it to haul the grass up. I'll go back to the grass field and get the rest of it picked up. Well, this is all of the grass in this field. It's like 111,000 liters. That should last us plenty of time. Throw this in the bin, and then we will get across the street and swath that field and turn it into silage bales, make a little extra money to get us through to harvest. And I think we'll be able to harvest this oats field here in just a, a month or two. So I'll get this done and speed up time. Well, here it is August. Our oat field is ready. So we got the swather out running in it right now. We're going to go get our pickup header. And there's all the bales we bailed yesterday. Waiting for them to finish fermenting to get some money off those. But we'll grab our, our pickup head and get started in that oat field. And we're going to actually keep the straw off of it this time. Try to get a little extra. Got to keep feed for the cattle back out of here without hitting anything. Had to be close to the fence, but we made it. All right, let's get over here and get started. He didn't start at the beginning of the field, so hopefully I can get to where he's at without driving over our own crops. He started on the other side, so that's where we will head over to start. I might just start right here behind him. Let's see if it's set to spread the straw. All right, now we can collect our straw. Looks like he's getting in the grass just a little bit. Not too bad. able fast farming so this doesn't take all day hopefully he didn't run into the grass too many times I 
Eh, so far don't look too bad. Of course, it says he's blocked by an object, so that's not good. Oops, missing a little here. Really want to miss too much. Yeah, he's back over there in the corner for some reason. Get to the end of this row. And we'll go over and see what's wrong with him. This was an odd place for him to start. Twelve thousand liters already in this little bit. Let's go see what's wrong. Looks like he's just having trouble maneuvering around the fence. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, he's stuck in the fence pretty good. I can back this up. Now I'm getting in the grass more than he was. Have him take over. I right, got him going. Now we'll get back to. Oop, not throw the combine. Alright, back to our job. I think I'm probably going to miss a little around this corner. But we'll get this combine filled up and then we'll go grab our grain truck. Which our grain truck's not near as much capacity as this combine is, but it's what we own, so that's what we're going to have to use. I am probably going to regret the small capacity we have on this truck, but it was cheap, it was used, saved us some money. Combine looks funny with that little bitty head on it, or as big as it is. Yeah, this will fill up really quick. Yeah, 25,000 liters, and we're already full. <laughs> At least we don't have very far to go. Yeah, it's really just one headland around the field. Yeah, uh, one and one and a half, maybe. Oh, and it empties out kind of slow also. This is the grain truck we actually had growing up. Really used one of these. Not sure if it was a Chevy or a GMC. Thought maybe it would have, you could open the hole back in. But no, it won't let you. Back to combine. We'll finish this field up and see how many liters we were able to get out of it. I don't think the good there's a good price right now, so we'll just store these oats, and then we will sell our silage bale as soon as they ferment. Well, this isn't good. It's starting to rain now in the middle of our harvest. I was not able to get it all finished. Looks like the swather's almost done over there. Just has a few rows left. I really don't want to lose our yield. I think we're going to have to park this for right now. This dumped off in our wagon, get it put away so it doesn't get wet. Then finish when it quits raining. Got 
clouds. It's too bad that it had to rain. I wasn't even looking at the forecast. Look like clear skies. It is really starting to come down. Well, we'll get this stopped. Maybe I'll finish bailing why why it rains. Well, the rain has finally stopped, so we can get back to harvesting this. Thankfully, it doesn't do any damage when it's when it's down already. There's no more combining. Which in real life, I'm pretty sure it would have messed things up pretty bad. These, the crops down and then getting wet. I don't think it'd ever dry out. So, but I'll finish this up and we'll see how many total liters we were able to get. Well, this is the last of the oats off this field. Still have quite a bit of baling to do. We're going to have plenty of straw bales. Let's see how many total liters the votes we were able to get. Just about finished up. Alright. Looks like we have 161,000 liters of votes. Well that should do it on this episode of Edgewater Saskatchewan. Thanks for taking some time with us. And on the next episode, we should tackle the soybean harvest on the mega field. So until next time, have a blessed day, and bye bye